In this video, we are going to set up a WordPress site on Google Cloud with all certificates and related stuff that will be totally free for lifetime. For doing this, we need two things. First, a domain name. You can buy your own domain, or if you already own a domain, you can make a subdomain for your site, which is what I'll be doing today. If you buy a domain, that is going to cost some bucks, but you can also have a free subdomain from several sites. Second thing is, we need an account on Google Cloud. Google does provide free credits for you on new account setup, but we are interested in the free tier. The free tier gives us one non-preemptible E2 micro VM instance per month in one of the specific US regions, 30 gigabytes of standard persistent disk, and one gigabyte of outbound data transfer from North America. This limit is by time, not by instance. Each month, all of your E2 micro instances are free until you have used a number of hours equal to the total hours in the current month. So in short, you're only really going to be charged if you get a lot of visitors from China or Australia, and even then it will be a very small amount. So let's get started. Okay, here I am in my Google Cloud Console. Click on Compute Engine. On the top, you can see a search bar. Type in WordPress Bitnami. It is a pre-configured WordPress VM that we can use to fast deploy our VM. Your VM configuration will open. This page gives you all the details, but we're just going to click Launch. Now we have to configure our deployment. This part is very important. First, the deployment name. You can leave it as default. Next, the zone. To stay in the free tier, you must select a zone from one of the US regions that are included in the free tier. Now, the most important part, machine type. By default, it's E2 small, which is not free. We must change this. Click on it and select the E2 micro instance. This is the one that's included in the always free tier. Next, boot disk. Set it to standard persistent disk with 25 gigabytes space, which is perfect for us and well within the 30 gigabytes free limit. Leave all the other firewall settings as default. It's already set to allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic. Now, we just click deploy. And there we go. The deployment is finished. Here is our site's external IP and the WordPress admin page link. We can also see the admin username and password. Let us use the given credentials and log in to our site. And here we can see we have successfully logged in and we have the basic WordPress site functioning. Now we need to point our domain to the IP address. So that users visiting the domain will be pointed to the right server. Now I'm in my DNS manager. I'm using Cloudflare. We need to create an A record to point our domain to the server's IP we just copied. I'm going to add a new record. The type is A. The name is my subdomain, mavra.amarhassan.me. If you're using a main domain, you would just put at. The IPv4 address is where I paste the external IP from Google Cloud. Now, this is critical if you are using Cloudflare. Make sure the proxy status is set to DNS only. That's the gray cloud. If this is proxied or orange, the SSL tool we're about to use will fail. We must set it to DNS only for now. We can turn the proxy on later. I'm also going to add a second record for www just in case.
If you use Cloudflare DNS, this propagates almost instantly. If you're using another registrar, you might have to wait a few minutes. All right, back in Google Cloud, let's go to our VM Instances page. You can find it in the navigation menu under Compute Engine. Here is our instance. You'll see a button labeled SSH. Click that. This will open a secure terminal directly in our browser. No special software needed. Once you're connected, we're going to run one command to set up our SSL certificate. The command is sudo opt bitnami bn cert tool. This is the bitnami https configuration tool. It makes this process incredibly simple. Just follow the prompts. First, it asks for your domain list. I'm going to type both of my domains separated by a space. Hit enter. Next, enable HTTP to HTTPS redirection. We absolutely want this. Type Y and hit enter. Next, enable non-www to www redirection or www to non-www. This is your choice. Finally, do you agree to the Let's Encrypt subscriber agreement? Type Y and enter. Now enter your email address. And that's it. Right now, the tool is automatically generating a free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. It's installing it in the Apache configuration. It's setting up auto renewal so you never have to worry about it again. And it's handling those redirects we just chose. It will ask you to press enter to continue. And we're done. You can now close this SSH window. Okay, moment of truth. Let's open a new tab and go to our new site. Make sure to use HTTPS. And look at that. It loads perfectly and we have the secure padlock. Our SSL is working. You have successfully set up a completely free, secure WordPress site on Google Cloud. You can now go to Admin Panel and start building your site. So, that's the complete process. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward when you know the steps, especially using the Bitnami tool to handle the SSL and knowing where to find that password. Thanks for watching. I hope this demo was helpful.